I came into the house in 1999 first, so actually know what it was, but before this transformation that is currently uh, going on at the moment, um, there have been some development which I can tell you that um, they were not properly in shape. And um, that was the state. Most of this, um, the offices, the office of the speaker particularly, was nothing to write home about. It's just like any of that Nigerian public offices which you can find around and um, even the members offices those were that those were the same situation and the entire premises of course it's not what you are seeing now the pavement all the rules you are seeing right now they were not in there was they were not in existence and um, those were the situation uh, that was the situation until uh, mr speaker the current speaker now um, honorable engineer uh, Victor Che took over the, the saddle of leadership as the Speaker of the House. He brought in the feasibility study of what he tends to do. He brought a framework and brought the pictures of what he tend to do. Most of us were asking, where will you source the fund? Where will you get the money? But all that is history. I think this is my 10th year in the House of Assembly. I'm serving my top 10 now. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, uh, over five speakers have passed through me. And I can tell you straight on that what I'm experiencing now is phenomenal compared to what it used to be. And uh, it might be interesting to note too that uh, the subvention that is here, because as chairman, public accounts committee of the house, I'm privileged to know that the subvention that comes to the house as it were remains the same. And uh, what we are expecting, the developmental projects and the quality of job being done in the House of Assembly today, it is wonderful. Nobody knew that we can achieve this feat before now, that is before the emergence of Right Honorable Victor Uche. Initially, when, came, when I came to the House of Assembly, the first two, three, four, five months, you can't really want to sit in this place. You, because of the, you get uncomfortable. You know, the working environment wasn't uh, anything to write home about. Beside that, we had so many people who have no business being in the House of Assembly, just trooping in to make all manners of harassment. And, Harassment in terms of requests, so um, and it, it, so those ones kinds of uh, distress us terribly. So most times we would take our work home to do, you know. But gradually has been able to put all that also, all that too, in check. So we can now see. I, I just came early this morning to start doing some work before we sit. But it, 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 before in times past, what we do is just come straight to, to go to the chambers and sit and go away and take work home because of the, there was no order. When I came on board as Speaker in June 2011, on the 7th precisely, one of the cardinal things I said that should be my focus will be to restore the dignity of the legislature. Um, and so in doing that, 
you need to put in place the basic infrastructure for that to succeed. Uh, the basic infrastructure, you may ask, uh, but you have a chambers and you have a lot of that. Yes, they were there, but they were not up to speed with the present day realities. And as you know, life in itself is dynamic. Also, every other thing that we go with in life is dynamic. Um, we needed to come up to speed with present day realities. And that is, that informed my bringing about the kind of changes that I thought I needed to bring about. Secondly, I sincerely and strongly of the opinion that um, your workplace, your work environment greatly affects your, your output. And uh, if you have a good work environment, it will enhance your output, whether you believe it or not. You, f you spend more time in the office and the longer you spend in the office, the fact remains that you'll be putting more to your work and you know, at the end of the day, it's better output. Thank you.